Today we're going to upgrade and install the Mega X Carriage version 4. You can actually see it already placed here. The reason I did this, you may have seen from a previous video in that I did actually manage to salvage my V5 hot end once because I had a huge over extrusion. I had blobs on my prints. It was coming out of the heater block, out of the thread, oozing over the top of the heater block and then dropping onto the prints. I managed to completely clean that up and it's been a few months since I've managed to do that. I noticed again that I started to get a little mound of uh, plastic appearing on the top of the heater block. I also noticed there was a little bit of under extrusion. I had to keep on bumping up my flow rate. When I took it apart I noticed that the, the Teflon tube that goes all the way down into the V5 hot end because it is so close to that heater block it just over time it just starts to degrade and it just starts to deform and it always seems to get squished which is obviously just going to reduce the diameter of that tube and therefore it's going to increase the resistance uh, that that Bowden system has to put on to push that filament through into the nozzle. The V6 hot end it is starting to show its age as well but it's a tried and tested hot end and it can print pretty much everything I need to print on this thing which is just PLA mostly 90% of the time it's just PETG. With the V6 hot end you do get the new heat break which instead of using a Teflon tube to feed the filament down into the heater block the actual heat break itself is bored to 1.75 millimeters it's all metal so you no longer have to worry about that Bowden Teflon tube getting deformed because it is so close to the heater block because it is all the way up uh, in the heat sink now. And I want to say a quick thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Whether you need PCB etching and assembly, CNC in your injection molding, or even 3D printing in more exotic materials such as peak and nylon, PCBWay have you covered. With 24 hour turnaround and low volume orders, PCBWay can help bring your idea to reality. Check them out in the description below. So let's get started with the installation. Obviously, first of all, you need to remove your, your current hot end. You need to remove the bearings. So you do not want to touch these screws here. You want to access the rail block through these little holes to loosen the rail holding blocks. And then you'll just be able to wiggle out the rails and then you'll be able to remove the bearings from the housings. Uh, they're very easy to remove. You can just literally push them out with your hands. So I've printed all of this in ABS. Obviously this is gonna be holding a hot metallic object. So it's best if you can print it in ABS, but you can also do it in PETG. These are just little M3 nuts and they just push into the little slots that are required. And also I've added all of the heated inserts as well. The bearings push in very easily to this. And I had a little bit of an issue here because I couldn't get the 20 mil bolt to actually engage with the nut. Actually, you see that it actually pulls the nut upwards into a little compartment. So I'm just using a 30 mil M3 bolt here. So it does engage with the nut, it pulls it up. And then once it's in that little recess, you can then put in the 20 mil bolts. Now I actually tightened this too, too tightly and I managed to crack the housing. Luckily, doesn't really affect anything. So just a word of warning, you do not need to tighten this down very much actually. Just a few revolutions of a bolt and it will hold that bearing in place. Now I've just put in the umbilical cord holder and also just the second bearing. I'm not doing this one so tight to make sure that I don't crack it. The V6 hot end, very easy to put together and it just slots into the X carriage here. I'm putting on the fan housing and I'm just using the fan from the original V5 set up here with the i3 Mega so you don't need to buy another fan for this which is good. I have seen some people use Noctua fans as well, maybe an upgrade I make in the future. I'm just putting in the PCB that connects the hot end and the fans, putting in the, uh, the fan shroud and then I've just bought a little 12 volt blower fan here. You will need a blower fan for this setup. You don't have one on the original setup, unfortunately. So I've just plugged in the umbilical cord into that PCB and I've just cable tied the wiring around the uh, the fan shroud there. Screwing it back in, it's very simple, just the same way that you took it off. Make sure it's not binding on the rails. It shouldn't do. And now it's just time to put in the, the belt. So I really like the design of this. It just threads through, and then you just tighten up the screws to make the belt nice and tight. And it actually works really well. I'm just doing a quick test print here and everything is printing perfectly. 
So a big shout out has to go to the creator of this carriage ML 3D printing. Done an absolutely amazing job creating it and also documenting it. This was really easy to put together. The documentation is very, very good. The i3 Mega has been my workhorse for many, many years. Uh, I kind of feel like it's reaching the end of its life. I'll probably do just a few more upgrades to this. I will probably change the controller board so I can start using Clipper. Obviously I get better drivers and then the motors will be more quiet because this thing is still pretty loud. I've already upgraded the, uh, the extruder to a BMG extruder. This is a very good extruder for this system. I was thinking of getting a BL touch as well to put on this, but honestly, I don't really have any issues with the leveling. I have more issues with my Voron 0.1 keeping that bed level than I do with this thing. So I didn't really see the point of that. Another upgrade I might like to make is uh, to add a flexible sheet onto this. So I don't have to wait for it to cool down. It does take quite a while for it to cool down to get these parts off. But anyway, hopefully this thing will uh, last me a few more years uh, and hopefully I can get a few more upgrades onto it. Hope you enjoyed watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you later.